Chapter 545, Treasure Inside the Pond, Boom. A loud blast resounded amidst the celebrating ghosts. An endless immortal light suddenly illuminated the entire pond with its source at the center. Look over there, it's Li Kai. Inside the blinding immortal light, a figure appeared in the center of the pond, Li Kai. He made it to the deepest part of the pool. Everyone was gasped to see him appearing in the center of the pond because all speculations hinted that the biggest fortune of the water realm was at the center of this pond. The ghost experts looked like they had just swallowed a fly, especially those who were gloating earlier. Now, they all had frozen expressions. Their smugness earlier was slapped harshly by Li Kai's appearance. He scooped out the treasure. Inside the immortal light, Li Kai got something from the water. It was a stone that looked like a long trunk, and the endless immortal light came from it. At times, the light took the form of a fiery light, then it would transform into an icy shape and then back into a pure wooden shade. All of these immortal lights kept on transforming to prove its identity as an immortal stone. All were envious and jealous of this sight. The ghost race was reddened and crazed. They had been guarding here for so long, but they didn't even get a blade of grass while Li Kai managed to find an immortal stone at this moment. Many were unwilling to see it in Li Kai's possession, so they angrily uttered, Is this the big fortune of the water realm? The old undyings hiding in the shadows with ice-cold glares stared at the stone in his hand. Those from the emperor's lineages stared with especially frightening glints in their eyes. They could hold back their greed if it was any other treasure, but an immortal stone that could prolong one's lifespan was irresistible no matter Li Kai's origin and background. The phoenix maiden, who had been relaxed, suddenly changed her expression after seeing the immortal light shrouding Li Kai. She called for a disciple nearby and commanded, Tell the bronze carapace king to help me with the matter and that the myriad bones throne will not ill treat their insect tribe from now on. Long Zunchen only shook his head while watching her since he knew what she wanted to do. In the eyes of a supreme genius like himself, he didn't support her course of action and felt that using lowly schemes against experts was a dishonorable thing. Nevertheless, he didn't try to stop her. To the jealous members of the ghost race, this issue was not just about an immortal stone. It was because the one who got it was Li Kai who shamed them before. Meanwhile, Yan Lun who I only sighed to see Li Kai's harvest. He didn't continue on any further and returned instead. Even if he could go further, it would be meaningless since the victor had already been decided. So what if he could take another 100 steps? If he couldn't surpass Li Kai, then it was only a counting game with himself. In the case that he managed to reach the middle of the pond and went towards the deepest parts of the water, it was still trivial since Li Kai was there first and arrived there in a much shorter amount of time. However, what Yan Lun Hu I dreaded the most was not Li Kai's speed, but that he had command over the grand momentum of the pond. Yan Lun Hu I was very confident in his own grand Dao and with his created path, he would be able to go very far in the pond, one world per step. But Li Kai was different. The situation had reversed and the pond was no longer in control. Li Kai was the one who mastered the spatial transformations within. It was not a world per step from the pond and instead was Li Kai creating a world with each step. This meant that nothing could stop Li Kai's page within the pond and that he was free to come and go on his whim. Tian Lun Hui's heart was gloomy. As a cautious and meticulous person, Li Kai had now become his number one opponent, someone even greater than Izuo. His absolute confidence in his grand Dao even reached the level that he was certain that the heavens will would accept it as long as he continued on this path. His grand Dao would become the heavenly Dao, and his secret law would become the heavens will secret law. However, Li Kai's grand Dao suffocated him today. If Tian Lun Hui's grand Dao could become a heavenly Dao in the future, then Li Kai's grand Dao was above even a heavenly Dao. This was the reason for Tian Lun Hui's fear. Li Kai was too terrifying. If Tian Lun Hui wanted to become an immortal emperor, Li Kai would be his biggest obstacle. All the ghost cultivators were quiet after seeing Tian Lun Hui leave the pond. At this time, no one blamed him and of course, no one was qualified to do so. Even ancestors personally taking action would have as great as an accomplishment as Tian Lun Hui. It was not due to his personal lacking, but only because his enemy was too devilish and unbelievable. The ghost race felt powerless since they were humiliated by Li Kai time after time and only met failure despite retaliating numerous times. First was the Phoenix Maiden in a battle where Li Kai ended up massacring tens of thousands of ghosts. Now, the Titanic Crescent Saint Child, Ghost Insect Evil Child, and Tian Lun Hui all had suffered utter defeat. The ghost race wanted to cry, but even tears wouldn't come out after a supreme genius like Tian Lun Hui lost to Li Kai. They wanted to fight back but had no means to do so. No one was more qualified than Tian Lun Hui, and even the Zuo was not necessarily much better. Regarding talents and insights, even within the group of ancestors of the previous generation, it would be hard to find one or two who were more heaven-defying than Tian Lun Hui. How about we have a great power's ancestor personally kill Li Kai? A ghost expert's anger wouldn't subside, so he had his thought. A cruel intention began to appear among the ghosts. They agreed that Li Kai was indeed heaven-defying, but if a virtuous paragon took action, this paragon would definitely be able to suppress and kill him. The issue was that they must find an ancestor who would agree to this. Normally, these ancestors wouldn't want to touch the bee's nest that is the Thousand Carp River without a pre-established clash of conflict. Moreover, ancestors that could actually fight against the Thousand Carp River, such as those from the Titanic Crescent Sacred Ground, were not stupid enough to come out to fight a junior. If it is a contest of strength, then Sir Tian Lun Hui would surely be able to kill Li Kai. Although Li Kai understood the mysteries of the pond, this doesn't mean that his cultivation is stronger than Sir Tian Lun Hui's. A ghost expert had his thought, Sir Tian Lun Hui is a reincarnated immortal emperor, someone who trains two different supreme emperors' laws for two emperors. Li Kai definitely is not a match for him. A ghost royal lord had the same train of thought, if Tian Lun Hui takes action, then he can kill this human junior, in my opinion. His cultivation at best is only a heavenly sovereign. He cannot handle heavenly kings. Of course, Yan Lun Hui was not someone that they could control. If he didn't want to, 
then even if they talked till their teeth wore out, it would all be meaningless. In short, the indignant ghosts only wanted to kill Li Kai at this moment. As long as he lived, the ghost race would never be able to wash away this shame. Li Kai also came back out not long after Tian Lun Huai returned. Lan Yunzu was relieved to see his safe return and quickly rushed over to see him, while being secretly glad, she said. Did you get a great fortune? Not really. Entering the center of the pond doesn't guarantee a great fortune since it also depends on their luck. Li Kai continued with a smile, but I did find out something. What did you find out? Lan Yunzu hastily asked, unable to quench her curiosity. However, Li Kai did not answer because Tian Lun Huai came closer while shrouded in his mysterious aura. He then spoke, fellow Taoist Li, I accept my defeat completely. Your Grand Dao is truly unequaled and has escaped the boundary of the Grand Dao. Although he lost, Yan Wun Huai was still very graceful as he looked at Li Kai with his profound eyes. Li Kai didn't want to talk about his Grand Dao, so he interrupted Tian Wun Huai and steadily spoke. Then our deal should be carried out. Tian Wun Huai took a deep breath and said in a serious manner, You can rest assured about this. I can represent the All Ears Ancient Kingdom to say that we will leave this conflict. We will not touch any treasures at this place. After all, Yan Wun Huai was Tian Wun Huai, the descendant of the All Ears Ancient Kingdom. His words were powerful and had true substance. He then looked at the group of great powers from the Ghost Trace and carefully declared, This was the deal, I lost to fellow Taoist Li due to my own lack of abilities. I hope that the All Ears Ancient Kingdom's allies and friends will leave this conflict. Of course, if you are unwilling, then I won't force you. Feel free to comply with the wishes of your countries. Tian Lun Huai's declaration caused the great powers from the Ghost Race to look at each other, especially those from the Western Green River. The Ancient Kingdom was a powerful monster in this region, a force that was looked up to by many countries. Eventually, these great powers declared their intentions. We are willing to follow you and stand by your decision. The Three Graves Country is willing to follow your decision. The Bamboo Corpse sect is willing to leave this conflict with you and will follow your order of not taking any treasures from this place. 